like like I, I, obviously I want to be as, as as epic and alien as possible. <laughs> um, <clears throat> And, but a lot of it's going to come down to um, obviously matching the environments, you know. Right. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be it'll be interesting. And then and then music wise, um, uh, which I actually have started on, uh, it'll be more of a more of a progression, like from probably a, any composer's point of view. Black Mace is kind of all over the place. <laughs> you know, I don't really use any like common themes, or I don't like you know. Um, build upon something that I pulled up, you know, three hours ago, and then you hear it later in the game. Like, there's a little tiny bit of it, but there's not very much. Um, right. Mostly because of my own inexperience. But uh, but with Zen, I actually would like to try something a little bit more themed, where um, um, where everything kind of fits together. All the music is kind of a uh, climactic build up until the finale, and you know, just kind of you know, try something a little bit more professional <laughs> <laughs> you say that but i mean it, it, i mean you're you're obviously judging yourself but yeah <laughs> i think from from many i would say 95 percent of people that are listening to the soundtrack it is incredibly well done incredibly professional and nobody would even bat an eye uh that it would be anything different from that <laughs> yeah, so that's that's, that's kind <laughs> yeah well i mean it's it's impressive man um thank you any any timeline on when you guys think that these kind of things would be released or is that totally up in the air right now that would get me shot for sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I i i honestly i actually honestly don't even know um right like like i like i know uh like the the project leads and stuff like that they they kind of have it all figured out um there's a lot of stuff kind of going on obviously especially with steam integration and so yeah i can imagine yeah, yeah, and so, you know, it's going to be, again, it's going to be done when it's done. I know everyone hates to hear that, but, uh, and again, it's, uh, you know, we are going to try to do it, obviously, as soon as possible, because, again, if we wait another four years, no one is even going to give a crap about it, so. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah, you know, it, it's one of those things that, you know, hopefully, you, hopefully it'll be out within a nice reasonable time frame i know that's pretty <laughs> a pretty horrible answer no one wants to hear that but. i'm quoting you on that a nice reasonable time frame a yeah, reasonable and... time frame yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on eight years is reasonable yeah know. well that's what i think <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I, I can only imagine that the amount of hours that you guys put into this i mean we you, you probably can't even quantify it um for this 20 person team that are the 20 active individuals are any of them working on this full time or is this all uh, something that you guys do with your free time? Well, yeah, that's sometimes that free time is almost like full time. Yeah, and then we all have our own full time jobs, too. So it's almost like working a double like you. You come home from your day job and then you're like, oh, man, we've got deadlines, you know, on Black Mesa coming up and then you got to roll in some eight hours, you know, shifts with Black Mesa. It is right. Like it, like it, it is definitely you know that kind of a thing and uh and especially back you know in the early days when none of us knew anything about anything uh and we're all kind of just learning from mistakes like it was there is you know hundreds and hundreds of wasted hours just trying to figure things out that we just didn't know and uh you know trying things out that horribly fail and and yeah it definitely is a long process <laughs> um i won't keep you too much longer joel i, I have a couple of questions from uh from the reddit community that yeah. Uh, that came up and I do want to say I, I do believe you have a pretty big following on the reddit community um, oh, yeah. are, you, are you a redditor yourself um, I, I have an account uh, I, I wish I had the free time to check it what, what I really need is I need someone to just email me all the all the like areas in reddit like, that are like you know pertain to <laughs> to me because yeah I don't my life is a pretty chaotic mess at the moment, <laughs> so I don't really get a chance to kind of peruse through the site and look. Uh, like, yeah. I definitely, uh, like, if I knew where to look, I would be on there for sure. But Okay, well, I'll, I'll hook you up with some links, but uh, I know a lot of the people that are, are following my channel are, are Redditors as well, so uh, if they find out who you are on there, they will... They will they will hunt you down. <laughs> hunt me down. <laughs> knives in the back just, or just hunt me down? <laughs> no, they'll probably give you hugs in the front. Oh, okay. <laughs> Less knives good. in the back. <laughs> um, so, uh, Magnolia Dance, he wants to know uh, what inspired you overall. Like, you, you have all these different influences in your life, whether it be, um, you know, obviously 
compositions or bands or different genres of music, but then you also have movies, literature, things like that. What kind of things inspired you when you're creating uh, the soundtrack for Black Mesa? Cool. That's honestly, it probably is the combination of absolutely everything I've either listened to or seen probably from the point that I was a kid. Cause you know, like this really is the very first soundtrack that I've ever, you know, done. And so a lot of the music that, that is in it is definitely, um, songs that, you know, I may have even written back when I was like 13, 14 and just are now kind of turned into something that's actually a piece of music. Right. Right. So yeah, it would, like, that's a, that's a tough question. Like, you know, um, like definitely the Half-Life soundtrack, the first one, like, uh, when I was, a I, I don't know, I think I was 15 or so when it came out and that was, it literally was in my music player. Uh, cause back then you could just take the CD and you could start on track two and listen through all the music. Right. Right. And, uh, and I would, I would listen to that soundtrack like every day for months. Like I love that <laughs> soundtrack. And so definitely I'm sure there's huge influence in there. Uh, you know, it, like it, it may not be specific things like where you're like, oh, you know, that sounds exactly like the thing, but there definitely would be elements like um, a, a lot of the ambient stuff. I think really the only reason I was able to get some of the ambient stuff really close and feel to the original game uh, would be from that original soundtrack, because really there isn't a whole lot of other stuff back then that, you know, that you would be able to draw from. Right. So. Um, yeah, and other than that, you know, a, a lot of the rock music that's in the Black Mesa soundtrack that just comes from what I like to listen to um, back in the n late '90s while playing Half Life and Counter Strike and Team Fortress One and all that stuff, because I was a huge, huge, huge PC gamer with all of that, with all those games, and 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 I always kind of like to listen to, you know, like the like some fairly upbeat rock anthems and stuff like that, and so it def that definitely. Um, uh, it, it influence a lot of the like the the more aggressive tracks. Um, you know, it, it was one thing that that you know playing the game, um, rock just seemed to kind of fit with the grunge of the game, like just the facility and everything like that, and just the way the firefights went out. You know, like again, I, I obviously being a huge fan of the Matrix, the per, original, the first Matrix, and uh, and just absolutely loving the lobby scene. And although the lobby scene isn't like uh, a rock song per se, it does have that, you know, the really high levels of adrenaline. And that was, you know, and again, that would be another huge influence would be, you know, movies like the Matrix and the Matrix itself and stuff like that. And, and you know, everything like Massive Attack and all, you know, a lot of, of uh, electronic um, bands like them, definitely, you know, Rage Against the Machine, another huge influence. And, Anything that kind of makes you want to kill people, that's always a good influence when you're making an action game. So, Yeah, I, yeah that makes sense. Do you th how do you think the, the fact that you know, you've mentioned this a couple of times, you, you are an avid PC gamer. How do you think that that helped you build this, this soundtrack? Because I can see composers that are not gamers creating music for games could be a challenge. Yeah, yeah, like... Uh, like it, like it would be definitely like even on the level of just um, um, being an avid PC user, uh, obviously uh, composing music um, on a computer uh, with all the mod all the modern stuff we have these days, it definitely helps to know your way around a PC, you know, and because uh, you have a lot of the you have a lot of the people that that, that definitely kind of swear that you have to have a Mac if you want to do anything multimedia related. But um, I kind of just, you know, in my opinion, I, I still think the PC is the best platform. I just I think it just takes, a, you know, a, a person that just knows how to use it, you know, in the way that it was kind of meant to be used. And yeah, you know, yes, you can do you can screw a lot of things up if you don't know what you're doing. But uh, a lot of that, like allowing you to screw things up, there's also a lot of power in that, you know, would, would that let you do things you can't do on other systems. So, um, you know, and and so like all of that together, I guess it would be, um, well, it's definitely the reason why, why I use a PC and why I compose on one and, uh, and why I am a PC gamer. <laughs> and, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, but uh, I know we've talked a lot about, uh, the music specifically, but you were creating things, uh, in addition to that, I believe you were handling all of the recreations of just any sounds that had to be made. Is that correct? 
Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I actually created probably about 85% of the sound effects wow. that you hear in game. Um, the other 15% are from Half-Life 2. Okay. Um, and, and most of those sounds are the very, very subtle um, um, Foley sounds. Um, the, the footstep sounds are actually mine and are actually my actual, like I actually recorded that stuff myself <laughs> okay. in my studio. Um, and the... Uh, well, actually, I shouldn't say all of them, most of them. I guess I should be honest, because there's going to be someone out there who's going to be like, oh, no, well, you didn't make this step footstep <laughs> sound. But yeah, most of it is mine. Okay. Um, uh, and, and and then, like, uh, like all the other sounds are, are, are um, either sounds that I've made in my studio or I um, used from, like, pro-grade libraries out there that a lot of the movie studios use, and I just kind of went together and pieced stuff um, to kind of get what, you know, what I needed. And then... Uh, and then, yeah, like other than that, there is a couple Half-Life 2 sounds and then all the, the voiceover stuff that was actually done by uh, Kevin Sisk, who uh, um, was someone that uh, we hired as a voice actor originally. And just because of the sheer amount of audio work, doing the sound effects, the music and the voiceover work, I knew there was no way that I'd be able to handle that and stay sane at the same time. So <laughs> so thankfully for him, and he did an amazing job, uh, uh, we uh, got him to actually um, be the guy to to get all of the all the cuts from all the voice actors that participated and go through and edit it all and get it all thrown wow. the game and, and that and that's a ton of work and it was a huge 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 weight off my shoulders because at the start I I would I had to actually do that as well and there was just there was no way like yeah, I, <laughs> it wouldn't happen but uh, but yeah no it was a lot of fun sound effects was something that I had no experience in and uh, and I. You know, I, I actually had a lot more fun with it than I thought I thought I originally would um, when I started. I, I kind of figured it would be something that would be just kind of an annoyance, but actually it was it was pretty fun. I imagine yeah. there's a lot of experimentation involved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you share with us any uh, some of the weirder concoctions that you came up with? Oh, without getting sent to jail. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I, like I went to a few gun ranges and stuff like that, and, okay. and I actually even made a, a few uh, again, I don't know if this hopefully probably won't get me put in jail, but um, like we, we like we made a few like bottle rocket bombs stuff like that, um, okay. and, and actually uh, th they are the sounds are actually in the game like the explosion, a big piece of that explosion like the generic explosion sound for like throwing a grenade or when a rocket blows up that's actually from that that uh, um, that the bomb that we made and oh, re cool. recorded and uh, obviously we did it safely and it wasn't anything that could hurt anyone anyway, but. Uh, but yeah, like like we, we use it as a sweetener to that went over top of studio grade explosion sounds and stuff, and yeah, and I just imagine you have layers upon stuff. layers. Oh yeah, yeah, tons and tons, and uh, and then it was the same with uh, like the gun range sounds. Although um, none of the weapons are entirely the sounds that I recorded from the gun range. A lot of the sounds, a lot of this material I got from the gun ranges, I just kind of layered over top and used as again as a sweetener or something like that. And and yeah, like. Um, uh, lots of just going through my house and picking every possible material I can find, whether it's metal or plastic or wood, and just bring it into my studio and then just beating it all together in just a whole bunch of crazy ways and uh, finding stuff that sounded cool. Like, uh, like it, it, if uh, if you walk through the vents, you're basically uh, walking through my furnace room. That's the sound of like if you push up on the the metal walls in the furnace room. That's the sound that that's from. So <laughs> very cool. Yeah, lots of lots of playing around with that so very cool stuff a um, little bit a little bit about yourself now with you know Black Mesa is out you're obviously working on the next few chapters uh, somebody on reddit wants to know his name is uh, his or her name is Salik Darling uh, do you plan on having any more music out in the future not related to uh, Black Mesa yeah I <sighs> I actually have a, it's it's been something I've kind of been sitting on debating right now whether I want to do it or not. I've got I've got a lot of failed um, Black Mesa songs, like okay. quite a few actually. I probably have more music that didn't make it into the game that made it into the game, and uh, and and a lot of it isn't even remakes. It's just stuff that just didn't really fit the theme. It didn't really fit anywhere in the game, and just you know it, it might have been things that while I was. Um, creating another part of the game I just came up with this other cool idea and just kind of pushed it to the side and and I, I kind of been thinking about releasing some of that stuff I think a lot there's some people out there that would probably get a kick out of some of it 
Um, but just again, it kind of comes down to the time to I have to go through and I got to cut it all out and I need to at least master it a little bit so it doesn't sound completely like horrible and you know, <laughs> so if, if I wish I had a clone sometimes, but <laughs> what don't we all? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I imagine that, uh, you know, you, you guys released the soundtrack a little bit earlier. What was it, the thought process behind doing it that way? It was actually a promise that uh, we made quite a while back and um, well, I, I, I guess I, the promise is probably a bad word. It was just something we said a while back that, that hey, we're gonna we're planning on releasing the soundtrack uh, just before we release the game, and, uh, and 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 because so many times we had to kind of go back on our word and say you know you know like we would say something and then we would do something else just because we weren't done the game or whatever. Uh, just because we had done so much of that, we were kind of like at the point. Well, you know, we need to start doing. You know, we need to start honoring our word and doing things that we say we're going to do. So, uh, even though probably if uh, like if that had never been said, we probably wouldn't have released it early. Uh, but but we but but there really was no question that we were going to just because we had said at some point and people were kind of expecting it. So, you know, it was something that we that we were like, well, you know, we do need to you know do what we say like do what we were, what we said we were going to do. So. Very cool. Yeah. Well, I, th I think it worked out for the best. Uh, I definitely created a lot of hype. Um, people were extremely excited after they heard the soundtrack, and uh, I think that it was extremely well received. Uh, so I'm obviously speaking for myself. I'm a huge fan of it. I continue to listen to it uh, almost every day, and uh, it's a phenomenal job, Joel. We really appreciate everything that you guys have, uh, have done for, for the Half-Life community. Thank you. Yeah, that definitely means a lot. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, I'd like to just thank you for your time, but before you go, can you tell us where we can, uh, where people can get in touch with you or stay updated on uh, your progress with the game or anything like that? Uh, yeah, you can go to my website at uh, www.joelnielsen.com. Uh, then that's N-I-E-L-S-E-N. You can probably just Google me. That's probably better because most people, like the, my last name is kind of backwards for how most people <laughs> spell it. Um, but yeah, um, and then like uh, I kind of put a little bit on there, but most of it I'm now doing through Facebook. Uh, okay. It seems to be kind of the easiest way. Uh, I do have a Twitter account, but I unfortunately don't use it as much as I probably should. Um, so, like, if you're wanting to know kind of even the little stupid little things, it's probably best just to follow me on Facebook and or not follow, I guess, like me. <laughs> stupid. Every, everybody media. likes you, Joel. You don't have to keep asking. <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a little bit older than than what the social network stuff was all created for. So I'm a little bit, you know, the, the you know, past that point, like I'm not old, but I'm just, you know, like to me, it's like, you know, if you need to talk to someone, you, you know, MSN them, email them or talk to them on Steam or something, right? And yeah, there you go. All the, all the Facebook stuff is like, well, it's just more of an annoyance, but <laughs> 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 no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I hear you, but I mean, I, I think a lot of people would enjoy um, adding you on Steam since you mentioned it. I don't know if you want to drop your ID here or people can uh, message you on Facebook. That's up to you, but yeah, probably, probably go through Facebook. Um, Sounds good. Uh, yeah, it, it gets a little overwhelming on Steam sometimes. So <laughs> Yeah, I hear you, man. Uh, well, once again, thank you very much for uh, for taking the time to to meet with me. And I hope that uh, everybody got something out of this interview. I know that you put in a ton of work. It's definitely paid off. And uh, I mean, I imagine you're going to be incredibly busy for the next little while uh, finalizing these last few chapters. And uh, we're all looking forward to it. We would love to meet with you again uh, after those are released and everything's calmed down a bit if you're open to it. Oh, totally. Very cool. Well, uh, thanks so much, Joel, and we'll see you on the other side, man. Very yeah. good job. We're, we're very excited for you and uh, huge supporters over here. Thank you so much. Take care, man. Yep, bye.